Hi, this is Lady M, and we're on the Lady Empire server, and I'm joined today with um, Jimmy, otherwise known as Suicide Bunny. Hi, Jimmy. Hello. Hi. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? Good. So, we met at Minecon this year um, when we volunteered as Minecon agents. Yep. And you were one of our team leaders? Yes, I was one of the bosses. Yeah, boss man. Boss man. Yes, I have power. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> I hope you're using it for good. Most of the time. So we're going to go take a look at what you're doing in your location, right? Yeah. Uh, let's see. Oh, okay. My and... running was a little bugged out. But it seems to be okay now. And and you're located in the UK, is that right? No, the Netherlands. No, no, Netherlands. Close Got that Close one wrong. Enough. Sorry about I, that. I uh, lack the British accent. Yeah, you kind of do. Now that I think about it. <laughs> uh, that's okay. There is. Is that your house over there? Nope. I've never seen that before. Yeah, I only found it last last week, I think. But I was like, nah, I'm gonna move further. All right, let me just see. Sage Valley Mine. Okay. It's part of Sage Valley. I have Valley. no idea who made that. Probably Poi or someone else. So how do you... Well, I know how you get to be a Minecon agent. How do you get to be a Minecon agent boss man? Honestly, I have no idea why Mark chose us. Um, it could be because... Uh, me and a few others. Well, basically you get divided into shifts. And I had two shifts last year, plus whatever preparation work I wanted to do. And I was like, oh, sure, I'll just do the two shifts and then walk around and see my, my con like everyone else would. Yeah. Um, I didn't. I ended up working every day I was there, starting at like 7 or 8 a.m. up until closing time, maybe even later. This time in Florida? Uh, no, 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 no. Oh, this before. Was in okay. Paris. In that, Paris. That was Paris. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I worked That's crazy probably hours. why you got asked, because you worked a lot of hours. Uh, yeah, because they were and like, then, oh, they're crazy enough, so. Then they, they knew they could count on you. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, um, this is where I'm building right now. Nice. Like, is this your house? Oh, it's just the village I'm starting to build. It's cute. It's trying like a it's like, like a Swiss chalet or something. Yeah, I'm trying to make like long houses and other stuff. Nice fireplace. I know, right? I tried to make. I just one, invited like, myself in, and I'm looking around your house. <laughs> that's fine. I tried making like <laughs> that was yesterday. I tried making a second. Uh, fireplace upstairs, mm -hmm. and I burnt down three quarters of the house. <laughs> oh no! Yeah. You know, I uh -oh. did that a long time ago. We built this whole wooden village by the water, the walkway, everything, and other people had built stuff too. And I think I put in a fireplace or something, set everything on fire, and I was just sitting there. Obi's laughing his butt off, and I'm just like, "Oh no, everything's burning." <laughs> It was horrible. Yeah, fire's like the worst. Mm -hmm. So what is this checkerboard um, thing? Town square, I guess. That's really cool. It's supposed to be one, eventually. Yeah. As soon as I have roads and whatnot. So are you just going to build all around the town square? Yeah, and I can't remember his name right now, but he's connecting his inner town rail system to mine. K's. Area. Yeah, K's. Yeah. K's. Okay. Sorry, K's, if, that I forgot your name. If That's you okay, yeah. It. So we did a talk with K's, and we all played together on the Magicraft server, also. Yes, true. That was, yeah, because that started last year. Yeah. After Minecon, and and Mark led a lot of people on his server, and then the, um, all the agents, because I think I was on there before, and then after Minecon, he had a bunch of agents come. 
Yeah, I remember we were fun. like killing a lot of time on there. Yeah. Like a lot of time. But yeah. he's starting something new, so. I know. Sounds pretty exciting if it ever gets off the ground. Yeah, I haven't heard anything about it since. Come on, Mark, get to I work thought... on it. Yeah, I'm on, Mark. Not Come that you'll on. see this video, but hey. Oh, maybe you will. Maybe you will. I'll just make him watch it. Yeah. Because I have power. Awesome. Yeah. Always use your powers for good. Most of the time. Um, so, yeah, how did you find volunteering at MyCon? I thought it was um, really great. It added a whole nother... I don't know, level of being there and being included and getting to do new things. Because, um, you know, this is our third Minecon. All right, but, you've but, been to all three, right? Yeah, we've been to all three. and So jealous. We enjoyed it and we participated and did all that. And we're thinking, you know, this year we've kind of, you know, seen a lot. And, and to be honest, there's a lot of waiting and a lot of things, you know. Uh, mm -hmm. A lot of crowds. Got yeah. Lots of crowds. So why not? Um, why not volunteer this time? So we were getting in a day early, and we didn't know what we were going to do anyway. So it's like, well, we'll volunteer Friday, and we picked half a day, Saturday and Sunday. Although they just had us um, scheduled for Saturday. So yeah, you, you get to go to areas you wouldn't have gone to otherwise. Um, you get to help people and talk to people that come in from all over. I really loved it. I think it's something I will do each time now. Both of us. Our, I think both are of us. Are you planning on going to the next one? Oh yeah, I'm not stopping now. <laughs> Wherever it is, I will. We will go. We will go. Yeah, I really hope it's Europe again. Just not only cost-wise, but mm -hmm. I mean, Europe has very like a lot of interesting cities to visit. Oh yeah. I've... So even if you're coming from like the states or Australia or wherever, oh hello, Mr. Zombie. Plenty to do after my home. Yeah, we after Paris, we stayed a little longer and went to Berlin. And, oh yeah. And met an internet friend there and spent oh. a few days. Um, and Berlin and then, is awesome. Oh yeah, really enjoyed it. Would love to go back. And then last summer. I went back to Europe and went to Germany, Austria, Switzerland. Wow. So I'm really enjoying getting to see parts of Europe. Quite the traveler. I do. I love to travel. Yeah. 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 I, I guess it's a luxury if it was thing in, I have. If it was in Australia or something, that would be awesome. It would be, but I highly doubt it. Yeah. Just because... No, I heard, um, not from any reliable source, just the rumors of people talking afterwards, mm -hmm. that they think it might be the UK. Well, yeah. Which would be, be really It awesome. would make sense yes. for various reasons, because one, they had the expo there. Yes. And I think that was more like an orientational thing. Mm-hmm. Just to see like how many people will show up, how complicated will it be to set up in the UK, and how costly will it be to be, get set up in the UK. I think and, were, something's hitting me. Oh, yeah, there's a skeleton there. Um, I think that went really well. Didn't they have a, a real big turnout? Um, as far as I know, yes. Yeah. Um. Thing is, too, I mean, multiplayer does a lot for them. Oh, there's a spider. Uh, multiplayer does a lot for them, too. Mm -hmm. And seeing as they're based in the UK. Oh, more eh, incentive, yes. Wouldn't make sense. Wouldn't make it cheaper yes. that way, too. And I think multiplayer has run almost every show. I don't know about Las Vegas because I wasn't there. Oh, I'm not sure who did that one. Um, the venue was really big. It was at Mandalay Bay. Yeah. So we didn't use, you know, it was almost like the Florida one where, you you know, there's lots of empty rooms, lots of space. But there were a lot of long lines for things. But, so I think they've learned a lot in the last two. And this one, in my opinion, went off really well. I'm 
Yeah, I must admit, compared to Paris, this one was a breeze. Mm -hmm. Even though it was still very hectic. I don't think Paris had the room that... No. You know, and we had to go to different locations to get to some of the meetings and... Yeah. But and, but it was Paris. I mean, come on, and Disney and Paris and that's pretty exciting true. in itself. True. That that was very exciting. I mean, I've never been to Disneyland Paris. Oh, me either. Last, so. That was my first time. So that was pretty cool just yeah. to see it. And now I'm like, okay, now I've been to regular Disney, Disney World, Disney Paris. That's three out of I don't know how many Disneys there are. So there's one in China. Yeah. There's one in uh, what's the place called? So California, now, somewhere. Anaheim. I did. Yes, that's Disneyland. That's the one I did. Yeah. So I don't know if there's one in Japan too, but yeah. No, I know there's one in now China. I have to do all of them at some point. All the Disneys. All the Disneys. Yeah. So my yeah. theory is they're going to alternate. Like, if they go to the UK next year, maybe it'll be back in the US. But. I think. Yeah. I mean. But you may be more in the know than me, so I don't know. Well, let me put it this way. At this moment in time, I have no idea where it's going to yeah. be. Except Europe seems most likely. Yeah. I hope so, because I'd like to go to Europe. <laughs> yeah, we're awesome. And then. Really, you guys are. But yeah, if it's in a, it's probably going to be a big city like London, even though that will be horribly expensive hotel. Yeah. Rates. Well, I'll go stay with Tuxape. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. You hear that, I Alan? <laughs> I don't even know where he lives. I don't either. I'm just volunteering him. Yeah. Put everybody up. <laughs> and we'll play. Yeah, your, it would be nice. We'll play on like your computer. Say. Yes. Takes a computer back home. Mm hmm And his spare Xbox, because he already has two. Because he won la one this year and one last mm -hmm. year, I think. Not sure. No, actually. um, Obi's the only one who won one last year. The first and oh, okay. the second and third didn't get anything but the recognition. Oh wow. So they only gave one signed Xbox last year. So it was kind of surprising this year. It was like, everybody got one. Everyone all got of, Yeah, all of the... They uh, were like, Oprah, you get an Xbox. You get an Xbox. Yeah, five of you costume people get an Xbox. You guys get an Xbox. But they added the computer to first and second place, so that was pretty awesome. That was... Yeah. Yeah, that was a nice surprise. So if anybody watching hasn't seen it, we I interviewed Tuxape and um, Nihon Tiger. We talked about their win and their build. Yeah. They made some awesome stuff. They did. I was impressed. They did. I don't... All these guys building, it's it's just really amazing. I made an entry this year, but it was just um, this little psycho house on the hill, just sort of to be in it. Okay. But it wasn't... It wasn't, you know... It wasn't scary. <laughs> wasn't scary, wasn't the quality enough to win, and I knew that, and that was okay. But it was fun to be oh, well. in it. I it was... might attempt it next year. Oh, you should. Depends really. It really depends on what the theme's going to be. I would think if it's in the UK, maybe it will be a British theme. Yeah. I wonder how many people are going to make the Tower of London then. <laughs> Everybody. Everybody. <laughs> it's like, this is what we know about the UK. Indeed. Or Buckingham Palace. Yes. Something like that. So yeah, it would be fun if they came up with like some really quirky theme mm -hmm. that makes absolutely oh. no sense, even though it's zombie baby. Bad zombie baby. Even though it's like still UK related. Yeah. Like they should do like a monthly Python type of thing. Another one. They must be twins or something. Yes. Oh, evil twins. Aww. They sound a lot cuter than normal zombies when they get hurt. Yeah. It's like, ah. I don't know. They're just faster and they seem... They almost seem stronger. Possibly. 
Okay, so you enjoying this server? Yes, I am very much. Whoops. It, it's nice having like the same group of people show up every mm -hmm. time, and there's like no animosity or anything. It's just like yeah, everybody. Oh, that's cool what you're building, and even uh -huh. though it's crap, but <laughs> oh, it's not crap. It's looking really no, good. No, but like sometimes I'm building stuff. And I'm just yeah, like, and it's nothing. Yeah, everybody's really nice. This server started with um, for our forum. We we uh, have been moderators on Gaming Steve forum for like eight years. Oh wow! So I have this for the our forum people to play, and there's just not that many of them that play, and so I've just been opening it up to other people that I meet, and they're either friends or people that I've met in real life, or friends of friends, or you know. People from yeah. Minecon. But people you knew. Yeah, so. and then everybody just, I just tell them, hey, got some new people coming, and everybody's nice to everybody, so. Yeah, it's nice. I like it. And I'm really enjoying it, staying busy, like people are always on now, so. Yeah, there's always like well, at least one or two. Mm hmm. Although this week's been kind of slow as far as I've seen. Yeah. But oh well. It's okay. It'll come and go. Maybe over the holidays. Yeah. I was actually quite surprised to see, like, the first time I logged in, it was like, hey, that's Poi. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. She had her own server for a while that we played on. Okay. And I happened to see on her Twitter she was saying um, she kind of missed having a vanilla server, so I just messaged her and said, hey, come play on mine. And she's like, okay. Yeah, she, she's always really friendly. She's so sweet. We got to meet her at Minecon. I did too. Oh, that was kind of awkward, that conversation. Yeah. I, I, I met her. Mm hmm. And I was like, hey, boy, can I have your autograph? She was like, yeah, sure. And there was this tall Swedish good dude standing next to her mm -hmm. with a beard. And I was like, well, maybe he's one of like the developers we don't know about. Because I'm sure they have developers we don't know about. Mm hmm. Or staff or whatever. So it's like, can I have your autograph? And he was just like, oh, no, I'm only your boyfriend. I was like, eh, give okay. me your autograph anyway. <laughs> just, just do it. I don't, I don't care. Just do yeah. it. So, yeah, that was kind of awkward, but funny at the same time. Yeah, that's kind of neat. Yeah, it was nice meeting them. Yeah, because... Too bad I didn't, I, I didn't get to see uh, Marcus. Well, I mean, I well, saw him, but that's about it. I saw him, but he's the one I didn't get an autograph from. Because yeah. my exciting moment of Minecon was, you know, they, they pulled me from downstairs, well, both of us, Obi and I, and sent us up to the opening ceremony to help okay. with the crowds. So I'm going through there, and he's like, hey, go guard those seats over there. See the three seats? Don't let anybody sit there. And they put reserve signs down. Yeah. And then later they come back, and they said, um, they're going to be bringing Marcus here. I was like, oh, okay. So, yeah, so... In the, after the thing started, the stage manager brings um, Marcus and a couple other people over. So I stood right next to him, like six inches away. But I didn't get to talk to him, of course. And then later, I didn't get his autograph. He's the only one. So. Yeah. Well, I didn't get one from Carl either, because he, like, at the meet and greet. Mm -hmm. He wasn't there? And, and, sorry? He was there, wasn't he? Yeah, but like really briefly, I think, because I got in. Oh, I'm not sure if I did or not. Marcus and him got both escorted out, I think, right oh, away. Oh, okay. Most. Then again, I was late again for the meet and greet because that was a big yeah ordeal well, with the whole info booth, lost and found. How are we gonna arrange this? I um bought that Minecraft book they were selling. Okay, the photo book. Yeah, and. So I had them all sign the front and back covers of that. Okay. So that, to me, has made that book, like, very valuable to me. It's a holy grail. <laughs> yes. The holy grail of Minecraft. Yeah. It Whatever. is. Yeah. They have, I, yeah. I, I liked it this year. Yeah, it, it was... It, it was I think it was better. the best one ever. Yeah. Although, yeah, the meet and greet was crazy, crazy busy, but... Oh, at the I end? Think we, yeah. Yeah. But 
we did have like five times the amount of volunteers than, that we had last yeah. year. Yeah, and I have to say that was probably the best perk of being an agent is when it, you know, when the closing ceremonies are done, we got to go back and meet all of the Mojang stuff. Yeah. It was also nice, like, being able to talk to a couple of them. Because mm-hmm. last year, even though there were a lot less people, mm-hmm. everyone was, like, dead tired because longer distances distances between, like, the, the main hall and everything. So you're walking a lot yeah. more than you were this year. Except Which, Boo, who had a... Um, Segway. Segway. Those things are fun. Yeah, I kept asking Mark, or more or less demanding, Yeah, we'd get one. But it was like, I'd love to, but they wouldn't let us. Yeah, I've, I've ridden them before, but I had to take, like, at Disney, the class. You know, you pay for an hour. They train you for a little bit, and then you get to go ride around on the Segway. <laughs> nice. They I, I've are never fun. Been... Yes. So jealous. Like, look at him going on the Segway. Yeah. But it looked like he needed it. That's a pretty big place. It was. It, yeah. It, it's big until 6,000 people come down, running down the stairs. Mm-hmm. Then you feel very, very small. Yeah. Because I'm not sure what panel it was. I think that was the YouTube panel. Yeah. And I think that was IS Cupquake and someone else was like, it we'll was be signing stuff. Um, Captain Sparkles. Yeah, him too. And, but there were a couple other ones too. And um, the, uh, well, I know we were sitting in the Minecraft panel waiting for that to start. And they yes. sat us so early that we got to see the video of the YouTube panel. Yeah. And it was, oh, maybe it was um, Adam. Uh, um, now I can't remember his YouTube name. The one who sang at the opening ceremony. I wasn't at the opening ceremony, okay. sadly. I missed that. I was bummed out about that, too. Sky. Sky does Minecraft. Sky, Sky does Minecraft. Yeah, okay. I think he was in it. And I have to be honest, I had not heard of Sky before this Minecon. I didn't know I, about him. I knew about Captain Sparkles and I has Cupquake. <laughs> and it's like, oh, there's somebody new. And boy, is he popular. <laughs> yeah, I, I knew of Sky, like mm-hmm. just by name. Like, oh yeah, he's one of the YouTubers. That's all I knew. But I've been following his Twitter and stuff since then, and honestly, everything I've seen, he looks like a super nice guy, and very grounded, you know. Oh, that helps. With his popularity, so. Because, yeah, some people tend to get a little bit... Best of luck to him, and all of them. Uh, As long as they don't turn into these smug people, then, hey... Well, most of what I saw, I th- they were all so nice to these kids, and they stood, and Definitely. they signed, and they signed, especially the Minecraft guys. They spent a lot of time signing. They spent like two and a half hours like, for kids. at the last mm-hmm. day. Cause, oh, yeah, that, that was fun, too. Oh, not only that, but like at their own event, that's all they did was stand and sign stuff. Yeah. Well, there and, are a couple other ones. Like last year yeah. in Paris, you had uh, Martin in the Littlewood. Yeah. Well, I know Captain Sparkles got, like, mob last year. Um, I had to be a bodyguard for Captain Sparkles. Really? You were his? <laughs> that was, like, the last day. Yeah. Closing ceremony. Like, everything was done. And I was just heading out to the meet and greet with a friend of mine. And this security guy from Disney waves us over, like, can you come here for a sec? And we were like, yeah, sure. And we saw there was big group of kids and it was like right at the doors where Mm -hmm. registration was so that was really tight space and we walk over there and he's like yeah can you just stand next to this Mm -hmm. guy until he signs his everything and we're like oh wait that's captain sparkles yeah yeah sure because actually we were off duty we were just going to head out to the meet and greet go back to our hotel room chill out yeah we got we got to talk to him at pax Prime in Seattle. He's a nice okay. guy too. But, but you know, I remember at like not being an agent, but just watching 
all these kids, these people were, you know, swarming around this person. And we yeah. were like, is that Notch or whatever? And it, nope. it took us a while to figure out who it was. And it was like, oh, wow. I didn't expect uh, that that was going to happen. And He's like the YouTube equivalent, like popular as Notch is. Yeah. That's how it feels like anyways. Yes. But, yeah. And it was I, like... I don't think Mojang expected that either, kind of. No. But but this year was, they did, yeah. It was still bad this year. Yeah. But last year, yeah, the thing was we were, like, standing there, standing guard. And we were, like, guessing it would only take about 15, 20 minutes tops. It took an hour or more. <laughs> it took about an hour or more. And I think we had to rush to get into the um, meeting rate. Mm-hmm. I think we had like a total of 10, 15 minutes before it was going to be ending. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> so I just ran around trying to get in photos with Notch and autographs. I was just like, I don't have anything to get signed. So I was just like, sign my staff shirt. I don't care. Yeah. Sign my staff shirt. I got most people back then. Yeah. I didn't get Junk Boy last year. I didn't get. So did you wear your bracelet from last year, all year? No. I was surprised I, how many people take it off. still had theirs on. I didn't take it off because of work. Yeah. Which sucks. But um, I still have Ooh, it like, mostly intact. I only broke off the plastic bit. Yeah. So I'm still looking to find like a little... I don't know. I don't have the one from last year. Like, well, so I, I may, I may it. have it. If I, I think I cut it, but I saved it. But this year, you know, we were working down at the registration desk, and the biggest problem people came up with is they put it on too tight because it had a yes. slider. And their it little hands like, are, like, turning blue, and can we cut it off? and <laughs> Get a new one. Yeah. And, yeah, I was like, I don't know if you can get a new one. So I was Yeah, they were letting them like, if it was, you know, too tight. Yeah, I figured it would. But I was like, yeah, that's not my department so go ask at registration yeah. please yeah but the amount of people that put them on too tight on their kids yes I was like that's wh why yeah what are you doing and then I kill? and then I think they started telling them to be careful when you put them on yeah I was like we were even at some point suggesting people just like pry something like in between mm-hmm so the little metal hooks that were in there, because they were like one-way hooks, basically. Yes. You could bend them a little bit. You could loosen it slightly. Hmm. But I was just smart enough not to put them on too tight, because it was like, oh, yeah. Yeah, like, I this put mine on just enough, year. but I was able to actually slip it off, so yes. I could actually put it back on. Yeah, I was happy I did that. Mm -hmm. Me too. Otherwise, it gets all dirty and stuff, and you have to throw it out after a while anyways. I was like, no, I'm gonna save this one for sure. Yeah. I wanna, I wanna come back next year and wear it. Yeah, to, I think I wanna do that too. Just to be all like, look at me. Look, I still have it. Wow. And no, I don't feel superior to others. Just excited. Just excited, exactly. Well, besides that, I'm. Lead. No. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. Well, if you're lead this year, you'll probably be lead next year, or boss mate. I, I hope Mark will ask. I think he will, because yeah. as far as I know, I didn't get any complaints from anyone. Yeah. Maybe I did, but I don't they think never so. reached me. In which case, go me. But So hopefully we can be more helpful next year, too. Well, I, I gotta say, like, the people that showed up for their shifts, because mm -hmm. yes, there were people that either did show up, got their staff stuff. And left. And basically never showed up for a shift. Mm. But there were also about, I think it was like 30 people that never showed up. Wow, that is a lot. Yeah. And Well, I know there was a lot of people who signed up for like half shifts and they ended up working all the time. Yeah, one of my guys on the info booth ended up picking up the shift for someone else that mm -hmm. didn't show. And, well, he was just a bit bummed out that he couldn't go to all the panels he wanted to go. Yeah. But, in retrospect, he was like, well, yeah, I had fun anyway, but, so. But, 
Well, yeah, it's hard not to have fun. Yeah, I mean, even though you're working like more than you would back home, mm-hmm. it's still fun. I don't, I don't like even people at my job are like. So basically, you're traveling halfway across the globe. Yes, and bought a air. ticket and paid to go to work. <laughs> yes. And I know it sounds weird, but it's so much fun. It's I don't know why. Amazing, yes. I still don't know why I like it so much. Because you get to be a part of it. I guess. Yeah. I guess, yeah. You're not just going, you're a part of it. You're, you're staff. You're, you're, you're helping people who are going. You're making them feel good and happy and, you know. Um, after opening ceremony, we kind of stood in the expo hall yeah and just kind of help you know have people go and I had so many people stop and ask me questions and it felt really good because I actually knew the answers and I knew them because I worked down in the sign-in area the day okay. before yeah I so did. I was able to answer almost every question or tell them where to go you know to have whatever they needed done so that was yeah really like after a while with us as uh the info booth people. Yeah. Basically, it felt like we. Have you seen IT Crowd, the show? No. No. Okay. Well, then I won't explain. Okay. But after a while, it was just like almost like we were on repeat. Same. Like yeah. Same you could questions. see people walk up, and we were just like registrations that way. They mm-hmm. hadn't even spoken a word, and we were just like yeah that way. <laughs> just go. Yeah. But yeah. But that felt then, good. It felt good to know good. the answers and to be able to help someone. Yeah, so. exactly. That helped out. Yeah. I was bummed that Mark Ruffalo never showed up to the info booth. Yeah. I was like, dude, Hollywood actor. Why doesn't he show up to the info booth? I but, don't know. <laughs> we must have got I, him in a different way. Yeah. He got pulled out of there, I think, by uh, Fu. Because... Yeah. Technically, he was VIP. Yes. yes. But yeah. So, I think we're going to end it here. Yes. Thanks I'm for showing changed. me your place. Yeah, you're welcome. Ah, it's looking really shoot. good. I can't wait to see it when it's done. Oh, you let one out. Yeah, oh well. All you're right. not welcome here anymore. <laughs> oh, Enjoyed our talk. And, yes, um, it was fun. We'll see you around. Catch you later. See you later.